Starting a business is not for the faint of heart. There are going to be times you're going to want to give up. There will be people in your life that will doubt you and call you crazy and loony and all these things at times. But don't fall victim to their self-sabotaging beliefs. You just have to believe and everything else will start to fall in place because your belief will push you forward. But the thing is, most people that want to start a business are broke as a joke, right? Or have limited funds. She didn't have any money. Statistics show that the average person who starts a business launched their venture with less than, th what, five grand? However, initial costs could exceed $3 million depending on industry and other startup factors. So, the question is, how do you start a business with little to no money? Or can it even be done, right? Well, in this video, we're gonna go over 10 ways, yep, 10, you got it, 10, to start a business with little to no money. But, before we do all that, Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is, My name is Put in work, Burke, a business owner, family man, and fitness enthusiast. I'm here to help you start a business, build a business, while building a better you and body. So with that being said, subscribe to the channel and like this video. Now, starting a business without money can be very, very challenging, but it's not impossible. So, here are some business ideas and strategies that you can use and you need to consider, right? So, number one, start a service-based business. Offer your skills or expertise as a service. This can include consulting, writing, graphic design, or any other skill you possess, right? You can even go to freelancing platforms like Upwork, Udemy, Fiverr, Freelancer, and you can use them to help you find clients. Number two, online content creation, right? You guessed it. Start a blog, a YouTube channel, or a podcast. While it may take some time to monetize, right? Creating valuable content can attract an audience over time. And like I always say, the time will pass anyway, so you might as well do something constructive with it. So you wanna use free or low cost tools for content creation and distribution. If you already have an iPhone or Android, then this should be a very easy way to start your business. Number three, this is my favorite. This is my favorite, affiliate marketing. You basically promote other people's products and earn a commission for each sale generated through your referral. You can use social media, a blog, or other online platforms like YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all these other places to share affiliate links. People have made so much money with affiliate commissions, it's almost laughable that more people haven't just focused on being an affiliate to companies and kill the game that way. Number four, you can start a social media management business. Offer social media management services to small businesses or individuals. Build your skills by managing your own social media profiles effectively or you could offer this service for free for about three to five clients and have them leave testimonials for your business page to get paying customers, right? So basically you get three to five clients, hook them up with social media management for free, like I said, and then the whole deal would be for them to leave a, you know, testimonial for you. So number five, online courses or eBooks. If you have expertise in a particular field, create online courses or eBooks and sell them on platforms like Udemy or Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. This is great if you are a teacher 
already or say like if you are certified as something already like accountant certified personal trainer real estate agent or anything you need to get certified for you can share your knowledge through webinars or workshops right number six freelance writing write articles blog posts or copy for businesses and individuals Content creation is in demand, and many platforms connect writers with clients. Just Google freelance writing gigs, and you will see a bunch of different gigs available. Next up, we got number seven, virtual assistants. You can offer administrative services to businesses or entrepreneurs. Tasks can include email management, scheduling, data entry, etc 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 number eight drop shipping you can set up an online store and partner with suppliers who handle the fulfillment and shipping of products right now it might cost you a little bit up front like maybe maybe 20 to a hundred dollars depending on what you want to do but you also can start with Shopify and you can start for only a dollar, which will give you 30 days to build your e-commerce drop shipping store and promote it to at least cover the cost as time goes on. All right. And if you want to get down with Shopify, which I suggest if you really want to do it, the link is in the description. Number nine, local services. Offer services like lawn care, pet sitting, house cleaning or tutoring in your local community use word of mouth and local advertising to find clients you can also offer services for gutter cleaning or something to that effect you can pretty much make this a business okay you can incorporate lawn care and gutter cleaning into one you could do pet sitting and babysitting into one or pet sitting and house cleaning into one you can make it all a some type of business right Number 10, bartering. Exchange your skills or services with others. For example, if you're a web designer, you could exchange your services with a copywriter who needs a website. Okay, it's almost the same as doing something for free and getting testimonials. Okay, it's the same kind of concept of bartering, you get a service back. And once you can start getting paying clients, these people who can help you and you can help them, it can become a you know piggyback type of thing. Number 11, driving service or, or delivery service. There are multiple apps you can sign up and make local deliveries just using your personal vehicle. You can deliver anything from fast food, groceries, to lost luggage. Remember, remember that even if you start a business with little to no money, you'll likely need to invest time, effort, and creativity to make it successful. Building a solid business foundation and gradually reinvesting any profits into your venture can help you grow over time. All right, you don't want to take that money and spend it on yourself. Right, you want to take whatever money you get and spend it on the business. But hold up, before you go, wealth builders, I have a question for you Are you ready to level up your business game? The Wealth Builder Solutions is your ultimate partner to help you do so. When teaming up with the Wealth Builders, you will receive exclusive benefits like fast and hassle-free LLC formation, expert guidance and compliance, personalized business solutions, also the Wealth Builders Guide to Business Credit. All right, if you're ready to check out what we offer, all right, click that link in the description. Otherwise, Wealth Builders, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a uh, Wealth Builder. Thanks for being a subscriber. It's the man, it's the myth, the wealth of himself signing off for how to start a business with little to no money. Do remember, wealth builders, make more, save more, build more.